I'm gonna plant out some corn. As you can see, the corn here is getting very big indoors. See the roots coming out. So we need to get these ones outside. And I've also got some corn at the front that I'm gonna take to the back. Because what it is, I've got some more corn that I sold not too long ago. So they should, they should be all right. So they're gonna go at the front, but the ones from the front, the bigger ones are gonna come to the back. So I'll show you where I'm gonna put it at the back. So let's get into that. So as you can see, we've got that done now. So what we're gonna do is go to the front patch and get some of those corns out. But what we're gonna do is when you're digging up the corns, be gentle. You don't want to disturb the roots too much. So let's get that done. So as you can see, we got those done. That way you get gentle when I'm doing this. So what I'm gonna do is, the way I'm gonna plant out my um, corns, I'm gonna go the biggest one to the back. So actually this will be the biggest one here. So what we're gonna do, pick it up gently. And as you can see, I've put some fish by the bone in it already. Just lay it down gently, give it a push down. Just like that. And there we go, just like that. What we do, we'll grab one from the greenhouse. And I think definitely next year I'm gonna start by growing all of them up and pot them up twice, because you can see that one's grown amazingly. So what we're gonna do, put this one next. Just like so. Take a bit of the roots out. Go. Place it down. I'll do one more. And then I'll quickly do the rest after. So I'll be gentle. There we go. So we'll put this one next. Get that weed out of there. Okay, let's get the rest of them done. So if you know me by now, last part, water. I'm done. That's another thing. It's the last bit of the patch done, so yeah happy days and if you watch me put all these in you're a legend it's been about a couple of weeks since i planted the corn out and let's see how it, actually you know what you judge for yourself So the potatoes that I was growing in the greenhouse in the new, um, new raised bed, I had to pull them away because I was getting some sort of disease and I didn't want it to spread. So I had to pull them out. But I've got something better to go in there. Can you guess what it is? Write down in the comments if you guessed what it was or if you guessed right. So there it is. So these are the sweet potatoes. So I've got all in all, I've got about um, 12 slips. So this is the first set. The other ones are not as far down the line as these ones. But I've got basically one that's not too far off this one i've got one that's far off this one so that's the way it is i'm doing it in stages the last 
uh, two will go into the buckets. This one will go into here and the next set will go outside. But as you can see, they're all looking good. So this is the least amount of roots I'll have on it to put in the ground. And then pretty much anything on from that is fine. So, so I'm gonna get another one out to show you. So as you can see, they're doing well. And if you wanna know how I've done this, um, on my channel I've got previous videos of where I'll show you how to do this and obviously I'll throw up some pictures here of the process of doing this but as you can see it's doing well so let's get these in the ground. So as you can see we've got the box prepped. So the way I like to do this is, <laughs> so you can do, get your plot out just like that. You see, great root system. So, what you're gonna do is just make a small hole and just place it down just like so. And try not to cram too many in in the same spot, that's not too close together because, sweet to tell, if you know, it likes to spread out. So, you're gonna do is just give it a decent amount of space. So, that should be enough there. Put that one down. Yeah. I see the roots on these are doing amazing, look at them, lovely roots. Let me make another one here. So, and then the other thing we're going to do is put the mulch. As you can see, we've got the patch prepped. So now what we're going to do is, we're going to get some of these super tails outside. So just to show you, that pretty much most of these are ready. So as you can see, they look pretty good. And the way you want to do it is, sometimes I just pull an extra leaf off, but it should be all right. So what you want to do is, just dig a little hole, like so. Put the roots in, cover it. So it'd be the same way that I've done it inside. Pretty much just like that. So I'm just a couple more but as you can see they're all they're all literally doing great put another one here so it's a bit more compact so I've got to loosen it up a bit there go. so you can see I added some um, topsoil to this one just to beef the patch up make it a bit more higher but it really has quite a bit of, co bit of compost in it. So we got a bucket here. Let's fill it up. We got that done now. Yeah, your roots are, you can see. Great. Make a small indent, put in there. Like so. Just like that. And then we can give it a water. Use the same oil as grinding, that should be fine. Done. We'll keep on updated on how this one grows.
as you can see we've got that all done now and if you know by now you know what's coming you know what's coming come on man heavy dose of water I want to say thank you very much I know I say it a lot but I really do mean it like it is great to see people enjoy watching me garden the way I love the garden like it feels good and obviously if you've been watching from the start that's pretty much the last thing that's going to go out in the garden for a little while until I start plotting out stuff for winter but it's a long journey but I've got an update video coming soon where I walk around the garden and show you everything that's growing you're going to be amazed by how much stuff is pretty much well soon ready to be harvest. I might even harvest that one camera but for now definitely catch you in the next one. Bye bye.